I'm sorry I'm late for the review for um, Queen Sugar. I just been trying to handle some stuff, you know, still looking for a job and trying to get with this unemployment and just going through the motions like I this is new to me. So just feeling a little down, but now I feel better, blessed, thankful, grateful, all of those wonderful words that go together. So I'm also mad because I couldn't do my Friday Eve song. Like it's Friday Eve. Like it's not Friday Eve no more. So anyway, this episode 12 for Queen Sugar. It seemed like now everybody's trying to come into terms with Nova and the book and they trying to forgive her for this damn book. So, but Ralph Angel, mm -mm, he ain't letting up. He ain't let, I ain't letting up because a lot of that stuff that she said about people in the book, you know, like Aunt Vi and um, Charlie, that was something from their past. The thing with, with, with um, Ralph Angel, Ralph Angel is um, current and could go on for the future you know what i'm saying he didn't want them to find out you know that way or whatever so i get it i understand he didn't want them to find out he didn't want blue to find out that way but blue don't know that blue thinking that his aunt coming over to visit him and he don't quite he can't understand why he can't quite see his aunt you know what i'm saying so he 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 stopped Ooh, he stopped nova right there dead in her tracks you know like uh, -uh i don't even want to see you i don't care about that you know, so, you know, she was just like, well, everybody else trying to forgive me. Ralph Angel like, well, you better go on back to everybody else because I ain't, I ain't ready, Nova. I ain't ready. Go on on about your business, Nova. I ain't ready. So let me ask y'all this. So when he went in the house and he found that gift from his daddy, isn't that quite odd? I mean, I've never found a gift from somebody like that they didn't clean out everything when he passed so I, and we still don't know what's in the box what's in the box you know let him open it you know darla's been over there you know she playing with um with her son and everything and you know rap angel told her like you know nova tried to about that eyelash you know nova tried to come over here but you know he said he not ready and nova and ooh, what's her name? Um, Darla is like, yeah, I'm still hurt from everything that she did, but you know, for and that scene, those scenes, that scene right there, it just be when she talk, it just be so drawn out. Oh my gosh, you know, Blue needs to be Blue needs to have all the love in his life that he can have. So you know. If that's what's going to help, I'm not forgiving her. And, you know, she's still upset. And, you know, she had to overcome a lot. But, you know, she's willing to forgive, you know, and willing to kind of move on. But Ralph Angel said, nope, I ain't ready yet. I ain't ready. And then um, at the party, they had a party for Micah. I'm sorry, I'm keep messing with this damn eyelash. Shit. Micah had a party because he supposed to be going to... um. To college to to Harvard yeah he's supposed to be going to Harvard or whatever so at the party Ralph Angel was in the bathroom with Blue and he was just Blue was asking why he couldn't talk to Auntie Nova and Ralph Angel was like he's mad at her right now and Blue was like I heard what happened and Blue said something about when him when him and his friends they were playing a game and you know some analogy to the point where they just both took turns and they worked it out and here go rap angel oh i see you growing up blue no that's what you're supposed to do with kids ain't no damn growing up but you know he did break that down to him so maybe you know by blue saying that that would help a little bit you know before the end of the season they not gonna be mad at her no more right so 
then we see Charlie is at the um the headquarters for her campaign and Oh Prosper. Prosper been talking more lately. You know, him and um him and Lady Genevieve have been talking to each other and you know, he's been a little spicy this season. I'm enjoying it, you know? So he telling her that some of the um polling places are not have been either they have been taken out or moved or some requirements are are have been changed ever since, you know, the thing happened with um Jake Jason saying, you know, what he said is doing it's proving what 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 um Charlie wanted it to do was to decline his votes and bring hers up but now they're trying another way and who else was walk in but you know cousin boudreau cousin boudreau you know mama boudreau she comes in and she got on her red lipstick with her wrinkled up lips and shit and she's like i don't know what you got over my son and what are you talking about my grandmama like oh damn so that's your your that's not her great grandmama was that her grandmama wow that's closer than i thought i didn't even think it was that close and charlie just was like i don't know what you're trying to do i don't know what you got planning but it ain't gonna work and she was like i don't know what you got over my son but you need to she was like i ain't got nothing over your son he doing this all on his own so maybe if y'all stop trying to control him maybe you know it'll be different you know so as she's talking, the police come in. The little sheriff town police want to question her about the mill burning down. She checked them real quick. She's like, hold up, wait a minute. I'm wealthy. I got money. It ain't no reason I would try to burn my own mill down for the insurance money. So where y'all coming at with this? It's like they trying to set her up with that as well. She like, she shut it down. Like, I don't need no extra money. I'm wealthy. Let, remember that. I got money. And she was like, you know what? I, I don't even want to talk no more until my lawyer get here, you know. So they really trying to, you know, trying to prosecute her with this with this meal thing or whatever. So, but she shut it down real quick. Y'all better get y'all little small town ass on somewhere. Shit, come on now, quit playing. So Aunt Vi, she goes to Noah's house. She still ain't talking to Noah right now, but. Since Noah got her into this mess, Noah finna get her out of it. She asked Noah for a ride to go to um, Jimmy Earl, Jimmy Dale's house. And apparently in this box, she got some like some memories and stuff, like some old pictures and just little stuff that reminds her of that particular relationship. So, honey, she get to Jimmy Dale, Jimmy, Jimmy Dale house and... And sometimes it was something that she had to do. You know, she had to overcome that last obstacle. Be able to look at him in his face. Be able to tear him down. Remind herself of what she has overcome. You know what I'm saying? I was wondering, like, when she was, like, telling him off and stuff, I was like, damn, she ain't gonna say not one cuss word. Like, come on now. This is a triumphal moment. You know, very passionate. But she did put in shit in there, so I was like, okay, you ain't you ain't shit. I wish she could have did a little bit more dramatic, you know. You ain't shit. You hear me? You ain't shit. But you know what she did was fine, and then she gave him the little box. He threw that shit on the ground. Like, what's wrong with you, Jimmy Dale? You just bitter. Like, what the fuck going on? Dang. Ugh. He throw the box down and she that's when she told him off and everything. She was like, look at you. Look how you living. You know what I'm saying? I got money. I got my own business. My life is good. Why you still sitting over here struggling, beating up women and shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't been nothing. You ain't going to be nothing. You ain't going to amount to nothing. And you still ain't nothing. Even when I turn my back and I leave. So when she leave, you know, knowing she come up the steps with her and everything and his girlfriend comes up. She pretty young. And then she had like a little bandage up under her um up under her face or whatever. And so and then then she took your girl and took her out of that situation. What you think about that? 
talking about some, you need to get in this house. You need to get in here and Nova had her phone out. I dare you try to touch my damn aunt this time. Oh, it's going down. But it was so easy to convince this girl that she needed to leave him. I mean, she ain't going to do nothing but go back. Even though she's, you know, when she took her to the little shelter, she told him, um, you know, she tried to go back, you know, let me know and call me and stuff like that. But damn, Jimmy Dale, shit. It's like that. It's like that. You need help. Maybe that's what Vi should have done. Maybe she should have just went and got him some help. You know what I'm saying? Because the cycle won't stop with these women. It's, you can't save all these women. He the one who needs saving. He the one who... Who who need you know the counseling and everything like that you know, mm. sad situation and um you know I just pray for women that's going through it that they can be strong and like overcome those things because that is serious, you know so, mm. but I'm glad I uh, was able to go and tell his ass off or whatever so, good for her, you know let's see dollar. So Nova, she did her research on the new things in New World Energy. That word creeped me out, like New World Order or something. New World Energy. And she found this man's name, and I can't remember the man's name. Got the research off the office. It's just one little small office, so it must be up to a bigger entity. They know it's bigger, so they're thinking that this thing is bigger than the Boudreaux's. This thing is probably bigger than both of the parishes. Like, this is something that's even bigger. To make matters worse, um, Charlie explains to her campaign, uh, her campaign camp, that they moved the polls out of the district, you know, but here come Prosperous. Got some prosperous words to say. We'll get in buses. We'll take the people where they need to go. We'll get the word out. God, we will get your vote in no matter what obstacle. He said, this ain't the first time we done had obstacles. You know, nothing great comes simple. You got to work for it. You got to be able to sacrifice. Huh? That's what you got to do. Hmm. So they're going to do whatever it takes to get these votes in, you know, but they are really, 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 really fucking with them really bad. So, you know, whoo. Mm, mm, mm. Last but not least, we at the party, y'all. Uh, uh, Nova, Micah going to Harvard. Mm, Micah going to Harvard. Uh, not. I knew it. I knew it. The way he was sitting there, he was just like, huh. and then his mama got him a Rolex, and he like, huh, nice, and. So she just so happy. She done bought her damn sweater. She got the balloons and, you know, they drinking champagne at that little boring ass party. And um, he was just like, I'm going to Xavier. I'm going for political science and I'm going for photography and some other shit. And she was, oh my God. Oh, are you serious? How do you think you can bring on change? You can't bring on change that. I mean, that's how she showed her true colors. I mean, both points were good points of how he can help his people. But she's saying help your people from a distance. And I'm just saying, like, he was saying that, well, mama, you were the one that motivated me by you running for the campaign and coming back to the town and, and helping. But that's not what she saw. When you see your children, you see a step up, you know. But I wonder if she going to pay for him to go to Xavier because she is pissed. But I didn't think he was going to go to Harvard anyway. And he really didn't know what he wanted to do even when they was at the um, the blackout for the prom, you know. He was still undecided. So it'll work out, you know. And But Charlie ain't trying to hear that. Mm-mm. Charlie ain't trying to hear it. So, that's pretty much all I got. Wow. She gave a real strong statement that she was really pissed over that. So, I mean, I want my child to accomplish their dreams. Like, long as it's positive and 
something positive and it's what they want to do within means that, you know, is good and something that's encouraging, helping I'm all for it. You know, my daughter's about to graduate from high school. Um, she want to be nurse and I don't know. So she wants to be a nurse. So that's following my footsteps. So that's kind of how it goes. But um, we'll see next week, y'all. So that's all I got. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. All right. Good. Have a great weekend. Ta-ta. Bye.